All right, well, Ty France, well, welcome back to San Diego. I must start by saying that one of my favorite memories from the San Diego State's march to the, to the Final Four was watching you sitting there watching this, watching the, the game on the Jumbotron in Seattle. Yeah, no, that was a really cool experience. You know, I, since I can remember, San Diego State's always been a basketball school. So um, to see them make that run is pretty special. I know the city of San Diego loved it. Um, you know, a lot of my friends and I, we got to, you know, watch the games, talk about it. So it was really cool. It brought the city together and a good run. As an Aztec, though, what, is it, what does it mean to you personally to have your school out there like that? I mean, it's always nice when, uh, you know, a sport goes out and puts your school on the map like that. Um, you know, like I said, though, they've always been a basketball school. They've done a great job. Um, Coach Fisher, when I was there, he did a great job and then handed it over. And, um, you know, they've continued that legacy. So it's, it's always nice seeing, uh, you know, your school succeed. I'd like to come back to San Diego and seeing some familiar faces. I saw you and Manny Machado having a, a nice warm embrace before the game. Yeah, um, you know, he was kind of like my mentor when I was here and, um, you know, kind of took me under his wing. So it's always nice getting to see old teammates, old friends. And, um, you know, San Diego will always have a special place in my heart. What did, what did Manny teach you about the game? When you were, you were you were a rookie in that spring training camp when he made that Frasian splash, what did he teach you about being a, being a major um, you know, he wasn't a, too much of a vocal guy. Um, he was more of, I would, I would study, you know, what he did at third base and watch how he went about his work and, you know, offensively and defense, defensively. He's just a pro. So, um, you know, being able to watch a guy like that and just kind of pick up the things that he does, how slow he made the game look was, you know, something really cool to see as a rookie. You don't, you don't get too many guys like that in this game. So to be able to pick his brain and kind of feed off of him was really cool. How much fun was last year for you and you and just the type of run that you guys had? Yeah, it was really cool. Um, you know, the city of Seattle, they've, they've been star for a playoff run. So to be able to be a part of that group that, you know, help help give that back to the city. Um, you know, it was a good group of guys we had here and we all had the same goal in mind. And, um, you know, obviously we, we, we fell short, but um, to be able to give that back to the city, it meant a lot to us. You play with some special players here in San Diego. Um, what is it like playing with J-Rod? Yeah, I mean, he's a special talent. Um, you know, he's... he's he can just do it all, and it's it's so effortless for him. So, um, one of my favorite things about him, though, is he's 22 years old, and he, the way he carries himself. You know, he's so mature, and um, you know, he doesn't really let the struggles get to him. And you see a lot of these young young guys come up and you know struggle, and they don't know how to handle it. But um, to watch him and just how he goes about his work, he's a he's a true pro, and um, you know, very grateful to call him a teammate. It's a very very quick trip here to San Diego. You know, tonight's game, then day game tomorrow. What's the one place you have to visit if you have time? Uh, we went over to Coronado yesterday, walked around there a little bit. That was, I, we always love going over there. It's a nice, quiet little town, and um, you know we got our, our food spots over there, so it's, it's a cool spot. Tacos, tacos. Yeah, any, anytime we come here, we try and get Mexican food. You know, it's always, always hits the spot.